Hi guys, Ben from Change Rooms here. Uh, so today I want to talk to you about uh, weightlifting and resistance training for fat loss and why we do it. Um, I know a lot of the time clients come in, girls, guys, especially older girls and guys will come in and they'll be a little bit taken by, by, back by the fact that there's a lot of weights and uh, the fact that we're doing a lot of resistance training. So I just want to basically tell you why we're doing it and uh, the reasons why we do it for fat loss. Um, so basically what you're trying to do is release growth hormone. So when you're doing weights, you're trying to release growth hormone. Now that might seem a little bit crazy for some people and a little bit um, a little bit intimidating for girls. But basically what you want to try and remember is that when you get over 21, okay, so when you reach over your 20s, your growth hormone levels go down. Okay, so by the time you're 50, your growth hormone levels have really decreased. Uh, so weightlifting for older people is so, so important just for producing growth hormone. What growth hormone is, it's a hormone that regulates fat in our bodies. Okay, so the more growth hormone that we produce, the more our body is able to, is able to fight body fat. Now, when you do weights, okay, so when you're doing a bench press or you're doing a shoulder press or you're doing a leg press, and if you've trained hard, you'll know the feeling. It's a horrible, horrible feeling when you come to the end of the set and you can really, really feel it in your legs. What that is, that's lactic acid, okay? Lactic acid, and, and a lot of people will, will know that as DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness that they get the next day, okay? What lactic acid does is when your blood produces lactate, it sends a signal to your brain and that the brain then sends a signal and releases growth hormone into the body. So, the more lactic acid that you produce during a workout, the more growth hormone that you produce, the more you're able to fight body fat. Okay, so it's a little bit complicated. Now, when you do it in a circuit, okay, so you're taking big muscles, so you're taking your chest, you're taking your shoulders, you're taking your back, you're taking your legs, and you're doing those in a circuit, you're producing an awful lot of lactate. Okay, so the more lactic acid you're producing, your body then produces an enormous amount of growth hormone, which then burns an awful lot of body fat, okay? So, you've got guys in the gym, uh, women in the gym who are going into the gym, they're doing 40 minutes on the treadmill, which is good, it's better than sitting down. But as, as you can tell, it's not gonna have that fat burning ability, weights will, okay? So you're not getting enough bang for your buck in a gym that you will if you, if you, do, if you do weights. So my recommendation is the next time you're faced with a dilemma in a gym of either using a treadmill or stepping to your right and using a barbell. Think twice about it and think, do I actually want to waste my time in the gym or do I want to use this time in the gym to actually get results? Okay, so uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.